Hey young innovators, thank you for participating in IRC 2023 and making it a successful and enjoyable event for everyone. Today we will be discussing the solution of junior level problem statement. We will be looking at the line follower code and understand it in detail. I have already explained how to program a line follower robot using counters, functions and loops in a separate video. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it first. The link is in description. Moving forward, the junior level problem statement was about a space mission on moon, where two robots will carry out the task of colonization on the lunar surface. One robot is a programmable robot known as ALTV, while the other one is the manual robot. The manual robot is a simple pusher robot with a gripping mechanism. The automatic robot is a black line follower robot. Let's look at the task of this ALTV robot first. The ALTV robot needs to pick up the props from the pickup zones and drop them into the collection zones. After dropping the props into the collection zones, the robot needs to stop inside the finish area. Let's now understand the algorithm of the code. We will start with a variable for storing the counts of black intersections. There are total 4 intersections and we will set this counter to 0 initially. Next, we will use a repeat while loop and if conditions to make the robot move in forward direction and take turn when the robot is tilted to left or right. This can be done by reading sensors. Next, if the sensor detect a black intersection, the robot needs to know what to do. So we will first increment the counter value by 1 each time the robot detects a black intersection. Now on intersection 1, 2 and 3 we just need to take a left turn but on intersection 4 we will stop the robot. There are two ways to do this. First is to create four separate if-else conditions. This is a good way to code and the robot will work with this code perfectly. But there is another way to do this. As we know that all the three conditions 1, 2 and 3 are same, we can use one single else case for them and we can use the if case for the fourth intersection. If intersection is greater than or equal to 4, then stop the robot and break out of the loop. Else, take a left turn. This second method is easy to understand and implement. So we will use this one. Let's code the robot now. Here is the complete code for the algorithm we discussed. Test this code with your robot. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will meet in the next class. Bye-bye.